All that talk about pie charts makes me really hungry. <sighs> Hi, I'm Matt and this is Not Enough Tech and in the previous tutorial I've shown you how to create a pie chart that would show you how often you've been connected to each particle SSID which was pretty fun to do and it's, you know, it's a neat tutorial. This uses AutoTool web screens and it's not exactly a web thing because it's not accessible on the internet, which got me thinking, how about we gonna up the, uh, upload this information to Node-RED and display it as a proper web interface with a pie chart as well. So it's uh, very useful for the times when you want to, you know, share this information with someone else. You can just share the link to the website and they will be able to see the pie chart itself as well. So this tutorial is going to have two parts. In first part, if you're not interested in the tasker part, I'll just show you how to uh, process the information received uh, by the Node-RED server and display it as a chart uh, using the Node-RED dashboard. And in the second part, we're going to cover the previous tutorial, so download that if you want to follow this. And uh, we're going to show, I'm going to show you how to send that information over to another red server and how to share this information from Tasker to the pie chart in an old red. So everything's ready, so uh, let's get started. What you see in here is the node red dashboard interface and I've got pie charts showing how long I'm connected to each Wi-Fi. Now I have two different Wi-Fi's and the time is in seconds in here. If you want, you can convert that into minutes or hours. It's up to you. Now let's take a look at the Node-RED itself. It's very easy. So I've got pretty simple setup in here. Let me just close this up. So we have a HTTP POST request, which submits to this directory, which is SSIDPy. And we have mandatory response node. And then the data received is processed. So we basically assign that as a topic and payload because this is how the, no, uh, the Node-RED dashboard wants it. So if you have a look in here, the topic is the value of uh, is the uh, type of data, and the payload is the value of data. So that's what we have to assign before sending the information to the pie chart itself. So if you're gonna go to debug, and when I'm gonna send the information from uh, Tasker, I have two uh, HTTP requests in here: one for Slowfrog SSID and one for Fastberry SSID. As as you can see. Uh, I have a SSID type fastberry and time type, which is time in seconds, and the same for the second submission. Now this data is being assigned uh, by this node uh, function node, and basically we assign SSID as a uh, topic and the time as payload, and that information is forwarded over to the uh, pie chart itself, and that's why it's updated. Now let's take a look at the Tasker and see how that information is extracted from Tasker and sent over to our uh, Node-RED server. In Tasker, I've created a new task, which is Graph Update Web User Interface. And in there, I have first task is to set a variable, which is going to be a counter for my for loop, and I'm just setting this to one. Now in for loop, I'm uh, basically going through each element of the graph Wi-Fi uh, array. This array consists obviously the SSIDs for each uh, Wi-Fi. Now, first I want to remove the quotation marks because there's still quotation marks in that array. So I just want to remove them as they're going to destroy my uh, JSON structure later on. Uh, once this is done, I also gonna uh, for each pair assign a time, and the time is gonna be pulled from the graph timing array at the index level uh, specified by the counter. So each time I'm assigning a new, um, going through the new SSID, the counter value will go up by one, and that you can see in here. And before I increase that increment, uh, all I have to do is just to send the post HTTP post message. And that's going to be going to my uh, Node-RED server, so you have to configure your IP, password, etc. And uh, make sure that you have a correct path. In my case, it's SSID pi. And then sending data. SSID equals to data, and the data in here is going to be SSID name. And time equals to time variable, and that's going to be time in seconds, total time in seconds connected. Uh, you send it that as a www form and a URL 
uncoded and trust and the certificate and this is obviously a post and while you go through this loop uh, the loop will loop as many times as many you have uh, ssids in the um graph wi-fi array so that's all you have to do just send that information over to the node red and then obviously node red is going to receive this information like in this form and will be able to process it further as you can see that wasn't that difficult and it only takes a couple of minutes to duplicate the pie chart from a mobile to our proper web interface where it can be interacted with by other people now, if you're interested in more details about how I did it, including the code and files, everything is down in the description of this video, so go and check out the article itself. And now, uh, as usual, just follow me on social media, follow me on YouTube if you're interested in my videos, and if you can, uh, I'd appreciate if you supported me uh, via Patreon or PayPal. All the links are there for you as well. As usual, guys, thanks so much for watching, and I'm going to see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.